Hi everyone, I'll be doing a lipstick swatches and review of some Korean lipsticks that I recently bought so let's get started. The first one is from a brand called The Siam and this is their half and half lipstick so basically it gives you like a gradient look. So this one is a mixture between like a red and a nude red. It's really hard to tell the difference because it's not really true to colour. So when you first apply it on, it comes with like a pink shade which is, which is a very glossy glossy finish and then after that you turn it around for the red color which gives you like a obviously a red color but it's not as pigmented so when you do the gradient it's not as obvious but it sort of gives you a very nice natural pink shade on your lips but it is a glossy finish however it's very comfortable on the lips so if you were to wear it for a daytime look this will be a very nice lipstick and I find the tip of the lipstick quite interesting as well because it is so sharp but I guess the whole concept because they try and do like a half and half lipstick it does make sense it's easy to apply but if you are looking for something that gives a really good payoff and high pigmentation this won't be a great lipstick for you it's more on the natural kind of look the next one is actually Etude House color and balm tint sorry balm and color tint so as you guys can guess from the title it is a balm with a color tint now the balm it does feel really really moisturizing and i really like this shade because it's actually a nudie shade but i don't know why this um video captured it more on the reddish side but soon i'll show you guys a close up and you'll see the color more so what i do is half of the side is actually the brown shade and then the other half is actually the red tint shade. Now the red tint, it doesn't really leave a, st like a stain like the tint on your lips and it is very transferable as well so I wouldn't agree that it gives you like a tint finish but it's a very nice moisturizing lipstick. Would you call it a lipstick or would you call it a balm? So as you guys can see at the close up, the red do show up a lot more than the nude. But in real life, it's a very pretty color and I really like it because yeah, it's really moisturizing especially when I have really dry skin. And I think this one's pretty affordable as well. And this one obviously is like a twisting one, so it twists up. Next, I really like this one. This is the Siam Eco So Kiss Button Lips Matte in Number 6 Chocolate. I was actually recommended by I don't know who but yeah, I actually got like the pink purple shade from this collection as well. So I thought I'll try this out because it's a very pretty chocolate brown color and it's so easy to apply. But one thing you guys need to be careful is the click click part. So obviously you click and then the list it will come out. Make sure you don't click too much because you can't actually push it back in. So you don't want to really click too much. So just go a little bit and apply and then a little bit and then apply as you can see it's a very nice color but it is like a semi matte finish I wouldn't say it is drying on the lips at all but it is semi matte so it's pretty moisturizing if you're looking for a matte look this will be great for those who have dry skin next I really like this one this is the Misha matte lip rouge same with this one as well it doesn't give a matte finish at all for this one actually and this actually gives you more of a glossy and moisturizing finish and this one as you can see when you glide on it's so easy to glide on it gives you a very nice natural nude color on your lips and yeah this is really easy to apply and i really like the finish and the packaging is so beautiful because it's like a metallic kind of look but obviously this is a creamy finish with a little bit of shine but it feels really natural and the flat tip do help it to apply real easily as well. And this one is actually quite lightweight as well considering that the packaging looks quite fancy. You would think it's heavy but it's actually not. This one is quite hyped out for a while but I didn't buy the whole collection because I thought I'll just try one just, just to see how it goes. And this is the Alitam Satin Pencil Lip Laker and this is I think number was it 6? And this one is like a neon color, that's why I chose it. So it's supposed to be like a neon orangey ready shade. And obviously you can tell from the applicator, it's a very very thin applicator. It is a bit wobbly, but once you get used to it, it's quite sturdy if that makes sense. But it is quite like a little bit hard to apply on the top on the tip just because the applicator is so thin. But it's such a nice pigmented color and it's very very creamy as well. And it does give a very matte finish so it does dry up straight after you apply so just 
be careful and make sure you apply as quick as you can and evenly as you can as well but yeah i really like this neon color what do you guys think next this is the agapan painting rouge in number eight i don't really know why i bought this i think i bought this because the packaging looks interesting and at first i thought the bottom would be a lipstick but silly me is actually like a liquid lipstick and this one's supposed to give you a matte finish now because when i took this out from the packaging there it was really watery so it was very hard to apply because it doesn't give me an even finish at all so i took quite a while to apply this on the lips but once you finish it gives you a very sticky matte finish if you guys know what i mean so it feels really sticky on the lips but it gives you a very matte finish but it's not good for dry skin because it's very very dry on the lips and it has a very strong scent it actually smells like a mixture between a grapefruit no not grapefruit between a strawberry and a vanilla scent as you can see look so much liquid came out from just one swatch so yeah i wouldn't recommend this one actually now this one is a very nice color this is a skin food vita color delicious oral rouge in number six and I like this one because even though it doesn't give a very high pigmentation on the lips it does it's sort of true to color obviously because it has like this oil thing in the lips to make your lips more moisturizing and comfortable so obviously it's more like a mixture between a balm and a lipstick so I really like this color it's really nice and this one smells like grapefruit but the obviously the scent will disappear later on and obviously because it's so slippery on the lips it is transferable so it feels more like a balm so i hope you guys enjoy my review and swatches of all of these lipsticks i'll definitely do more of this so please thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more of this and i'll see you guys next time bye